What is up everybody? In this video, we are taking our first look at these, the Nike Pegasus 38 Shield. What's up guys and welcome back to 40 Runs. Now, what I need to know from you today in this video is do you change your shoes for winter running? We've got the Pegasus Shield here from Nike today and you'll see over the next weeks and months, some of them are out already, that uh, all the manufacturers come out with these sort of weatherized shoes, these weatherized daily trainers, whether they be GTX or Shield or Winter or all these kind of different names they come out with. But basically, they're a weatherized version of their most popular daily trainers. So let me know in the comments whether you change up your shoes for the winter. Right, so we've got the Pegasus 38 Shield on the channel today. Um, I'm a big fan of the Pegasus Shield. If you've been following the, the channel for a few years, you'll know that I always grab a pair of the Shield shoes from the Pegasus because I use them during the winter months, especially when I'm like training and coaching, all that kind of stuff. We've got the new 38. Is it any good? We're gonna have a look at what the changes they've made in it, all that kind of stuff. So let's get stuck in. Okay, people, so if you didn't know, I ran a marathon on Sunday. So my mileage in these shoes has been very limited. We've only done three runs in them and they've only been limited to three miles each. Now, I appreciate it. That's not enough for most reviews, um, but today I don't really, uh, I, I, I'll talk about how they feel, uh, but it's, yeah, say, I can't really give you a, a full impression of how they are. Today, I'm just gonna talk about the features and what they've added to the shoe, because to be honest with you, from here down, it's still pretty much a Pegasus. Um, so that's why I'll talk about it a little bit. But just as a heads up, this is a first impressions video, okay? I've done three runs this week. I've done them all in this shoe um, and I'm recovering from a marathon. So just put that out there. So take uh, take what you want out of what I say about how it feels in terms of running in them, okay? so. There you go. But yeah, I say I want to focus more on what's going on in the upper and the changes they've made to like the Shield version versus the original version. Okay, so stats and features. So firstly, uh, price £114. Um, this will come down in price because you can get the Pegasus, the OG, under £100 now. We've got a, now I don't know what this means. The upper is coated in a PFC free coating. Let me know in the comments if you know what that means, but basically some weatherized coating they've shoved on it to try and keep the water out. Uh, we've got all these sort of uh, weatherized overlays now on the shoe, again, to help keep some of that water out and keep the foot warm. Uh, you've got this midfoot cage, which is quite striking, with these almost like shark gills along there. See those? They're pretty cool. Uh, we've got loads of sort of, what's the best way to describe it? Shine at night reflective pattern on the shoe. So again, if you're running at night, hopefully some of this will shine up if um, some headlights hit you. We've got React Foam again, um, which say, so down here, it's the same shoe. We've got the Storm, what's it called? Storm Tread, that's it, Storm Tread outsole on the shoe, which is incredible, which is one of the main reasons why I buy this shoe, because the outsole on these shields is amazing, especially in the wet weather, it is fantastic along sort of roads and things like that where it gets really wet you get loads and loads of grip on the shoe uh, it fits true to size uh weight wise uh let's just go for it so grams 319 i'll let you work out the ounces because i haven't got time and 311 grams for the original so it's put on a little bit of weight which is to be expected um but not a hell of a lot we've got a gusseted tongue which actually is more like a a booty really, because it's attached to, if I pull there, look, can you see where it's coming in on the shoe? So from about here, you're almost in like a boot, yeah? So look, it's connected there. So it goes all the way up to here. The tongue's really been redesigned, I think, to try and keep as much uh, water out as possible. We've lost that, what's that sort of, not gaiters, the wrong word, but you know where it came up quite high on the previous version to keep the, the when you go in the puddles out of this part around the vamp, uh, they've got rid of that. Um, I think that's about it. I've said it fits true size. Hopefully this is a UK nine and a half. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think that's about it. Okay, so if you look at the two, you'll see the overlays uh, are probably the most striking difference, but also the cage. So here you've got like this kind of fly wire, um, um, what's the face, feature, feature, uh, where you get that midfoot lockdown here. But where they've now got away with that, the material lockdown, they've created this one piece cage that wraps around your foot and really locks you down. I'm guessing that's to keep warmth in if you're running in really cold temperatures, but also to keep try and keep some of that um, water out if you're going you know, through puddles or it's a bit mucky. So they've really tried to work on that midfoot lockdown. It works really well, actually. Um, what else, what else, what else in terms of differences? But yeah, overall, the, the shoe is pretty much the same thing, especially the toe box. Uh, it's not been narrowed up in any way. Uh, it doesn't feel narrow. Uh, 
um, the tongues. This has got a thicker tongue, more foam in it, but this has got a wider tongue in it. Uh, heel counters are pretty much the same deal, although this has got the overlays on it. Again, to try and keep the water out, but I think that's more of an aesthetic look around the back, just to try and match it all up to where they've done the bumper on the front. Um, I think that's about it in terms of the two. Uh, this definitely feels slightly heavier in hand. You can notice it, but there's, there's, there's not much difference. Some shoes you put in hand when we film these things, you can really go really notice it, but there's not a hell of a lot of difference. As you can see, I've chewed these up and spat these out over the um, sort of summer into autumn months where it's been getting wet and horrible down the rivers. Um, these have started to get a little bit mucky, which is why I switch over to these. Okay, so how does it feel? Right, so as I said, my, my miles have been totally limited because I'm recovering from that marathon, but the stuff I've done in it is as expected from a Nike Pegasus. It doesn't feel any different to a Nike Pegasus. The one thing I would say, and this is, I think, my imagination, but it does feel a little bit more rockered. And, I, and it's not, but I don't know, it just feels, look at, I don't know if you can see it's not coming out. I don't know, I just really felt in this shoe, over these three runs, a little bit more sort of coming through with it might be my imagination, might be where I'm coming back from that marathon, but that's the only difference in terms of ride I can feel. Um, it also feels a pinch softer out of the box than the original did, um, but I say it's only three runs, so it's hard really to know, but we've got the air zoom units in the front, so the ride's great. Um, I think this is, this is still heavy, um, but it will do exactly what you expect from a Nike Pegasus in terms of the ride. Okay, so uh, let's conclude the video. How do I feel about the shoe? Well, at the moment, it's an initial uh, report. So, you know, we'll come back and we'll do a performance review of the shoe, uh, exactly how I've been getting on with it and, and all that kind of stuff. But for, from initial thoughts, it's exactly what you'd expect from a Nike Pegasus 38. Personally, I don't particularly care much for the look of it. I think it looks pretty rubbish. I don't think the quality is, uh, well, actually, no. The quality is usual Nike or 2021 Nike. I don't think it's brilliantly put together. Um, it's just not great, even though it's 115 pounds, I still think all the glue shoved down here just looks terrible. Um, we've got some other shoes coming uh, in the next weeks, uh, and because we're gonna do a, I wouldn't call it mini series, but we're gonna be doing some winter running shoe reviews over the next couple of weeks. And I've got a couple of shoes in that I'm more excited about than this, and I'm not gonna tell you which ones because I wanna keep it a secret. But that I know, for example, there's one shoe that absolutely beats this shoe to a pulp. So we'll come on to that when we get that video done, but I wanna keep you hanging on. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is a Nike Pegasus shield. They've not ruined it. Uh, this is better than the 37. The 37 was what it was, but this is definitely an improvement over the 37. I don't feel like it's as weatherized as the um, GTX, which has obviously got the Gore-Tex, but the GTX Pegasus Trail. I think if you are looking for a more hardcore winter shoe from Nike, then I would probably send you towards the Trail uh, Peg Trail 3 GTX. I think that's probably a better shout out of these two. But this is a kind of middle ground if you're looking for some sort of weather ice shoe for that winter training. My foot did get warm in these. It's still relatively mild here in the UK, so it was quite warm uh, this week in the shoe. Um, but yeah, it is what you'd expect from a Nike Pegasus Shield. They've not ruined it. For me personally, I don't think it's doing much for me. Um, but that said, I will spend a lot of time in it over the winter where I'm coaching and training and stuff like that because I need this shoe in my rotation for those sort of wet evenings and those wet runs and that kind of stuff. So yeah, mm, there is better out there, people. Uh, and we'll be coming on to that over the next few weeks and months. But if you like the Pegasus Shield, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed with 38.